Alright guys, this is Michael from Twingers, and I'm going to be doing a two-part series on my bug out bag and bug out carry gear. Yes, I'm going to be splitting this into two videos. One of the gear that I carry, or will carry, in the event of a bug out scenario. And then one on the actual bag itself. So for starters, we're going to get into the bug out carry gear. Now all of this gear I keep in my nightstand in the event that I need it immediately. Except for my boots, those I keep in the closet with the bug out bag. Okay, so here we've got my knife set up. The knife itself is a Schrade SCHF 38. Full tang, carbon steel blade, durable knife, budget friendly. Also came with a fire steel and a sharpening stone. I have not had the pleasure of testing it in the field yet, as I am very busy right now, but hopefully come spring break, I'll be able to test it more in depth. Those marks are just from some basic whittling that I use to test out the sharpness. Fire steel and sharpening stone are very good, and they come with the knife in that, and they go in the little pouch on the knife sheath. And then in addition to knife sheath, you guys can see that I've got what is a card deck box attached to it with the ribbon and it is wrapped in duct tape. So in there I've got an emergency blanket, some cotton balls, some wet fire, and an Altoid survival tin which is going to be linked in the description box. It's the exact same thing that I keep in my EDC Altoid survival tin. Then I've also got a very poorly made paracord lanyard. There's about 14 feet of cordage in there. And on the end of the lanyard, I tied a cotton bandana. Because cordage, cotton bandanas, those both together have a thousand uses, give or take a couple. So my reasoning behind making a survival kit from just the knife is that I would have the knife on me, on my person strapped to my belt in the event of a bug out sur survival scenario. And I would have that on me even if I got separated from my bug out bag. So, in the event that that happened, I would want to be able to survive without my main kit. So I would have the combustion with the fire steel and the, t and the cotton balls and the wet fire. I would have the cordage with the paracord lanyard. I would have the cutting tool with the knife itself. I would have cover with the emergency blanket in the survival kit, as well as using my knife to cut down tree limbs. And I would have a container for water purification with the square of aluminum foil that I have in my Altoid Survival Tin in the kit. So I've got the five primary seas of survival color covered, and then I have the cotton bandana, which is one of the five secondary seas of survival. And as some of you may be able to as, as you and as you can see, I also have the Bear Grills Pocket Survival Guide in there. Um, just because I don't know everything, I'm very far from it, so it's just a little bit of extra help in the event that I will be in a survival situation with just this knife kit. And then I will have these items in uh, my pockets, most likely. Some of them may go in the bag, but for the most part, they'll probably be on my person. So, in the case there, I've got my prescription sports goggles, just because they will definitely be handy to have since I need glasses, but I will probably be wearing them instead of glasses because they'll be more durable and they'll stay on my head better. Then we've got the multi-tool, the pocket knife, the Swiss Army knife, another multi-tool, the wilderness survival card from RE Factor, and then the cat tourniquet. I will go over um, the knives individually in just one second. So the multi-tools from Ozark Trail, it is $5 and it is very cheap, but hopefully it will do its job. I have used some of the tools and they seem to do their job pretty well. It's got the pliers, the wire cutters, the saw, the plain edge knife, the screwdriver, big and small flathead, and another small knife. And it's got larger flathead again, the Phillips head, can opener, and then the serrated edge knife. And then it comes in this little sheath. So that is something that I will probably slip onto my belt before going out into the world in a survival situation. 
Swiss Army knife is a Victorinox. Swiss Army Spartan, I believe the model is. Going from left in a counterclockwise motion, we've got the large knife, the small screwdriver, and the can opener, the ball opener, and a large screwdriver, and then the small knife. And up top, we've got the corkscrew, and on back, we've got the reamer, slash awl, as well as the standard tweezers and toothpick. Very nice knife, very sharp, and that is definitely something that will be in my pocket. And we've got the RE Factor Wilderness Survival card. Um, the little multi-tool. I honestly have no idea what the brand name is. I got it at a bookstore at the University of Pittsburgh. It was like $5. And then my old Boy Scout pocket knife. Um, I do not know the make and model. I believe that is a Meyerco. That is the brand. But I do not know what model it is. Um, the Boy Scout knife is very sharp, and I have yet to use the RE Factor card for anything, but I will be testing out soon. And then the little multi-tool, it's got screwdriver, Phillips and flathead, nail file, and then a small knife, as well as the pliers and wire cutters. Uh, the knife works well, and the screwdrivers do their job. So I definitely recommend it. Um, it'd be something that I will incorporate into my EDC once I'm out of high school. And now for the boots. These stay in my closet, easily accessible right on top of my bug out bag. In the event of a bug out situation, I would totally put them on and then run out the door with my bag and the rest of my gear. The boots themselves are from Magnum. I have no idea what the actual brand is, as they are my dad's old boots. They are still very sturdy, they are still very comfortable, and they still serve their purpose. I have, however, Replace the laces with survival laces from scamstuff.com. Yes, that is an actual site. It's 550 cord within a strand of fishing line, a strand of tinder, and a ferro rod inside the strand of paracord. Very useful. Fortunately, I have not had to use them yet, and I am considering getting another set of laces in order to test them out. They are several feet of paracord per boot lace, so that just once again gives me extra resources in the event that I get separated from my main kit. So that does it for my bug out gear, and I think that I am going to switch this into two videos. So I will be covering my bug out bag in the next video. Alright guys, stay tuned for that. And of course, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my other videos, and please comment what you think of the gear that I carry if I should replace it with anything, and if I could possibly move some of it into my bag, take out some of it all entirely, or put in even new stuff. Thank you guys so much.